today we are going to look at the Tom Plus, the Jerry Plus, and the Tom 2 by Electronica for You. Now, the first ever one which I bought was uh, the Jerry Plus, and that is because it is, of course, the cheapest. And back then, it was the only one which I first came across. I had not heard of the Tom Plus. So the main reason why I got this, besides the price and the cost, was because it allowed mouse and joystick and the auto switching of them both. Now back then, I remember in Amiga Format magazine, there was a device that was uh, similar to this, and this it was called RoboShift uh, Mac 2. I mean, it was a good solution, it wasn't that expensive, but I didn't bother getting it back then because I actually discovered it a bit late. But back a year ago when I first got my uh, Amiga 1200 again and uh, I was, uh, my cousin and my niece were around and of course I kept uh, having the same issue, having the issue of swapping joysticks all the time <laughs> and uh, the ports of the Amiga is going to start becoming loose in this case. Now I ended up getting this mouse with it. Uh, I decided to just, you know, get the Amiga 1 mouse, the official one. And uh, of course it's uh, USB. Now I soon realized that this will not work with my other mice and that is because the Jerry mouse only accepts mice, USB mice that have the PS2 protocol. So something like this mouse which is basically, you know, it's it's an Aeon mouse but it's basically a, <laughs> you know, PS2 mouse with a USB. Now similarly you can use another PS2 mouse of course, you will need the um, PS2 to USB adapter, which I have uh, lost. <laughs> now, as well as a USB mouse with the PS2 protocol, you can at the same time connect any DB9 Amiga compatible joystick. Now, at almost double the price, you get a thumb adapter, a thumb plus adapter. So now that we dealt with a mouse, we deal with a cat. <laughs> so, thumb plus. Is exactly like the Jerry Plus, and uh, I'm liking this Tom and Jerry theme uh, happening because I'm a fan of the classic Tom and Jerry's. It's exactly like this, except that this will accept any HID device, not human interest device, it's HID. <laughs> now, of course, that means it will accept my gorgeous Logitech T400 wireless mouse, and of course, it's gorgeous friend too. And not to mention the Logitech MX Performance. And also, if you wish to use a trackable, the Logitech M M M M570, which is a really nice trackable. However, I find it slightly sensitive. Maybe it's just getting used to it. And of course, not only these mice and trackables, for you graphics and artists out there, it actually accepts my Wacom Sapphire CTE, what the freak was it? CTE 430 and uh, that is my graphics tablet which actually I got this you know quite a long time ago it's very old Wacom one I'm not sure how it is with the modern ones but um, I was expecting this to have a PS2 protocol because you know it's really old but this does not work on the Jerry however it works on the Tom and it works perfectly now the difference between the Tom Plus and the Tom 2 is exactly what you see it's just uh, that the Tom Plus has got the joystick switcher and the Tom 2 is just the mouse on its own. And uh, these you can update their firmware, it comes with everything. And uh, not only connecting these um, mice, you can actually connect gamepads, USB gamepads with it. I've not actually tried that myself, but I believe you can uh, for whatever game. And I think you can even connect wireless keyboards. I mean, it comes with the, the Tom Plus and the Tom 2. comes with the um, instruction manual. Now with the Jerry Plus, you can use this on an Amiga and Atari ST as well. Now, the Tom, you can use it not only in the Amiga and the Atari ST, but also the Commodore 64. Which, with this, you just cannot do. With the Jerry Plus, you cannot do this. So that is exclusive. That. That's the advantage of a Tom Plus. So, I am here in the cozy retro corner and um, I'm going to try these adapters well we'll put Tom 2 and Jerry Plus aside and we will just test this thing now me personally and I think it's recommended anyway with any of these adapters I recommend you getting a extender like this and I think you can get them on eBay I'm not sure exactly what they're called um, but you can 
it's highly recommended. This actually comes with the... It comes with the Tom Plus, but it didn't come with the Tom 2. I think it should come with all of them, to be honest, uh, as standard, because it really, you... It, it, I recommend. I just freaking recommend it. It just makes life easier. <laughs> Trust me, it does. Okay, so as a general no, no, just <laughs> as a general rule, what I know about the Amiga is that now with regards to these plugs, these uh, DB9 connector plugs. Now, hot plugging a joystick or mouse that has a plug like this. I'm not talking about the DB9. I'm talking about like a plastic. You know, there's no metal shielding. As far as I know, that's okay. But when it comes to, you know, peripherals like joystick or mice or anything like this that come with this metal surrounding, those, when you're, you know, trying to reach for behind the um, Amiga and trying to plug it in, this metal bit can actually short out the pins, which can screw your CIA chips up. So, yeah, if, you can, if you've got any metal, metallic plugs, don't help plug them, just switch the darn Amiga off and do it. These, I think you can just get away with them, of course. <laughs> so let's begin. Now, we plug the joystick into the joystick port, of course. And in this case, it is gonna be my beloved zip stick. My favorite joystick of all times. I've used this since childhood and I love these. Now this, I'm gonna connect to the adapter. Amiga is off. Made sure of this. It just makes things so much freaking easier, trust me. <laughs> And um, since this is a Tumblr, I can connect my wireless one. Let me just connect this into the Amiga. And of course, we switch the mouse on. And we have a working mouse. Now, if you want to just, you know, flick to the joystick, all you need to do is just click on the joystick and the mouse will stop working. It's in second layer joystick mode now. Want the mouse again? Click on the mouse. Just one click and that's it. <laughs> it's like, you know, easier than going behind it and like, ooh. So, <laughs> it's, um, you know. Let's try the MX Performance. And of course, it works great. Oh, that feels good. The yeah, MX Performance, it's just got like a really nice, um, comfortable feel to it. You know, of course, it's more, it's better, you know, than this ergonomically, but for the price this is and the convenience of it, it's just, these are gorgeous. It's just an excuse to get it because they look pretty. <laughs> but they're good mice, you know, they're not bad, they're good. But this MX Pro and, uh, sorry, MX Pro, MS, MX Pro Performance and MX Masters, I think these are in a different league, of course, you know. I use these for editing and main. Let's try the M570 trackable. But it's more ill? Yeah, you've got more control on it. Ah! Well, maybe, you know, not as much as I'm getting excited about. But it beats playing it on the joystick, that's for sure. Oh no, time out. Is it? Was it? No! It's a control. Stupid spring! Snake spring, where the frick you are? No! Time's running out. Okay, fine. We determined. We did the marble badness test on the trackable, and it was alright. <laughs> you know, it's just me that needs to. In all honesty, with regards to being, you know, if you're using a workbench, it's not going to be my first choice, this trackable. Uh, simply because I'm just not used to it. It's actually a fantastic trackable, I like it, but... And you can you can actually hot plug the USB itself. Um, that's no problem, as far as I know. I've read somewhere <laughs> that you can hot plug the USB. I'd double check on that first. Now what do we test? The Wacom tablet. 
and um, this, of course, the looks paint. Now, for normal workbench use, it's okay. I mean, the left click is the you know tapping it itself. Right click is that. Ooh. <laughs> right click is that you know the extra button on the actual stylus itself. Left click is you know clicking stuff. So let's. It's the clicks that would get you. You end up dragging your freaking hard drive into the other one. <laughs> By accident, it's that kind of a thing going on. So I think it's strictly for, you know, applications only. Uh, but it's strictly for programs only, sorry. Still looks good. Okay, so. It's got a nice control actually. Let's kind of like try and write properly with it. Freaking scud, skidded, scud, skidded, freaking. Okay, more intense test. Let's try write in Arabic because it's got a lot of curves and stuff. So we'll see, you know, if it's. bad. I need to get used to it. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, try the rest in a different color. Ugh. It's too skinny. which means I'm riding on the Amiga so yeah it's it's actually all right but it's skiddy my hand needs to get used to it I'm already getting a pain here <laughs> because I need I'm trying to control it over control it I think it's just a matter of getting used to it that's all it kind of works you know I mean you gotta get used to it a bit you know get your hand used to it and yeah it should be fine Okay, so now we try this on the Commodore 64, and the reason why I bought the Commodore 64 all the way up here is because you need to see the LED of the Tumblers. Because we're gonna change this Tumblers mod into Commodore 64 mod. Okay, so we switch it on. And that's it. It's set, to, it's set the Commodore 64 mod now. You saw it go off. Basically, what you have to do is once you switch it on, the um, Commodore 64, exactly one second after it, click on the middle mouse button, hold it down, and while holding on the middle mouse button, tap that about six times, tap the left mouse button about six times, and then let go. It should go off, and then start, the LED should go off, then start blinking. And of course you've seen me use Messiah before. Uh, to use the mouse on the sequencer. To use the mouse on the sequencer, press and hold the Commodore key and then return. And that should like, and keep holding the Commodore key until the application or the program you know, comes up. And mouse should be. There we go. We got the mouse. I think it doesn't like um, laser mice or optical mice. I think it likes the rollerball mice. So 1351 mouse detected. There we go. Now, to wrap this video up, what I will do is take it back into the Amiga and show you how to put it in the Amiga mode. Now, of course, if you turn the Amiga on... I've connected the Logitech mouse in again. Now, I will notice that the mouse will not work whatsoever because it thinks that there is a Commodore 64 mouse plugged in. So what we need to do is set it to Amiga again. So we need to turn the Amiga off and as soon as we turn it on again 
we need to press this the right mouse button not the middle one this time the right mouse button after exactly one second keep hold of it and um, click the left mouse button tap the left mouse button six times or something and then let go and it should do the same you know LED goes off blinks fast and it's set one That's it. And you see that it went off, came back on, and it should be set to Amiga now. Let's see. Yay! We got our Amiga mouse back. So that's how you select, you know, and all the instructions and all the instructions and how to select the mods for the different computers. There is Amiga mod, Atari ST, TT Falcon mod and the Commodore 64 mod and they've all got like slightly different combinations so it's all in there. Now if you update to the latest firmware and this this Tom 2 or Tom Plus I think now will all come as the latest firmware. Um, if you have these then this uh, Logitech M570 uh, trackable and the T400 will not actually work. And I was like you know oh my god this doesn't work blah blah blah. And it was strange, but I had to take it back to the um, the earlier firmware. I think it was version 2 or something like this. I had to take it to an earlier firmware, flash it with that, for these to start working. Now, I have uh, let Electronica for you know about this. So, and, and they you know, messaged me back saying, you know, which devices do not work on the latest firmware. And I told them, and hopefully should, they should be, you know, releasing a new firmware soon. Which allows these devices to work. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's sorted. So that is my impression and a review of the um, Tom series and the Jerry series. Uh, Jerry, if you want the basic stuff, if you're just not fussed about anything, just want, you know, PS2 protocol mouse, basic one, and just a switcher, joystick switcher. Jerry's your thing. It's like half the price of the other one, so. It's worth it if you're not bothered about that. However, if you want to use all this nice, fantastic stuff, like a trackball or a wireless mouse or anything like this, or a graphics tablet, then I recommend, I highly recommend, a Tom 2, or if you want to use the joystick thingy, a Tom Plus. So, thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. And, uh, to my patrons again thanks so much for all of you i will list all your names on the is it this side or this side i don't know <laughs> your names will be on the screen somewhere uh to say thank you so much for your support and if you wish to support me on patreon uh the link is in the description below and also in the end you know end screen link so, anyway so for now i will say where's my teacup I need to say adios properly. Maddie style. For now I will say adios. <laughs>